Okay, so welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate your love and support. Okay, so today we are going to find out how does your person currently feel about you. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me how does Kansas person currently feel about them. Show me more. Okay, they do love you, or that they have emotions for you, or that they actually think that you do love them with the Queen of Cups here. It's actually your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be how your person feels about you or how you feel about them. I feel like you're no longer invested. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, perhaps in the past you used to. Ten of Pentacles also is in reverse here, so they sense a separation. All that, of course, both of you are separated right now because Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So they do miss you. Six of Cups thinks about you a lot. This person thinks about you a lot, reminiscing about the past. A sense of nostalgia as well. And with the Fool here, they may feel like mm, either they want to take a new leap of faith with you or that they think you've already started uh, a new journey on your own, okay? Like you're, you're done. But they do want to return, it looks like that. With the magician in reverse and the four swords here, they do think about you a lot. I feel uh, they do pray and hope that things will that both of you maybe can get back together. Okay, we got the magician here in reverse. They feel kind of powerless right now. It's almost like they there's nothing they can do about this situation or about you. And page of cups is here. It looks like they do want to apologize or that they feel apologetic over what happened between the two of you. Page of Cups may also be them wanting to send you a message uh, and offer you love, perhaps, or an apology. Four Wands is in reverse. This definitely indicates a separation. They feel like they've lost their balance. They've lost their home, their stability with you. I feel like some of you maybe you may have lived with each other, or if not that, both of you may have been in a serious, stable relationship, but it no longer is, okay? Seven of Pentacles is right here, so they are waiting. I do sense uh, them feeling that this connection has gone to waste because they may feel that maybe a lot has been put into it, okay? A lot of work has been put into this connection, work or effort or an investment, and then this is what happens. So I do sense them feeling really sad, okay? So we've got the King of Swords here in reverse. They feel like you're angry with them or that perhaps you're still holding grudges towards them. But King of Swords and Rivers also maybe it's them not telling you, okay? Not telling you how they truly feel about you. Haven't yet sent you a message or haven't yet offered you a reconciliation. So the King of Cups and Rivers, yeah, they really want to express to you how they feel for you. They do see you actually as their true match, right? They feel both of you are actually meant for each other. But something may have happened here in the past. It could have caused a lot of stress with the nine of swords here in reverse. So they're stressing out, having some anxiety, but they're tired of thinking about it. So they're doing their best not to think about you or not to think about this whole situation. Ten of Wands is in reverse. They feel there's a lot of burden, or that they feel you've already done, you're done with them. Ten of Wands, you don't want to deal with them anymore. You don't want to carry this burden anymore. But definitely the king of wands here, they are still thinking about taking action towards you. However, the strength here may indicate them holding back. Uh, I feel like they, they do desire you still, okay? But they feel maybe you're blocking them with the seven of wands here. Again, roles can be reversed in this reading, okay, Cancer? They feel like you're protecting yourself. You may have your guards up. And the ace of pentacles is in love first. Yeah, they definitely feel like this relationship has gone to waste, like, because it really did look very solid, right? It looked like it was going somewhere, and it looked like it was going, supposed to be a permanent relationship, but it just didn't take off for whatever reason. Maybe somebody lied, or maybe there could be some uh, miscommunication, um, or somebody not communicating very well. Communication is very important with cancer in a relationship. I feel that's number one, very, very important. 
uh, if both don't communicate well, whether it's on your end or their end, or just both, I feel like I would, that, that will cause a lot of misunderstanding. But for some of you, this just could indicate, you know, sometimes King of Swords and Reverse can be a liar, okay? They may have lied. For a different group of you on uh, Cancer, maybe a person was lying to you in regards to some things, okay? And if it's not that, another group of you could just indicate um, communication issues. So we've got the strength card here. Again, you may be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, they're definitely holding back seven of swords. They may be watching you, you know, sneaking around, trying to slowly get back into your good graces. And we've got these two of wands here. However, they're kind of they're kind of incisive, I would say. They are standing at a crossroad right now, but they are definitely thinking about the future in regards to you. But currently, I see no actions being taken, okay? I see them thinking about taking actions towards you with the Six of Cups here because they do have good memories in regards to you. And they're just hoping and praying. But right now, they, they're just hoping, but... They don't know if that is going to happen. They don't know if it's going to be successful, if this reconciliation is going to be successful at all, or if there's an, another chance for both of you to rebuild things. Ten of Swords, so they're very devastated. They're in a lot of pain right now. Ever since with the death card here, both of you are separated. Mm. They're not happy with the outcome between the two of you, and they think about you a lot. Again, we've got the Eight of Swords here. They feel really stuck mentally and also emotionally. They feel like they can't do anything about this, like it is completely out of their control for whatever reason here, okay? Again, very strong Leo energy you could be dealing with a Leo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody like you are. Can be any sign, Virgo, Gemini. I'm seeing here again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The sun mm, with the five of cups is seeing things very clearly that, again, they, they miss you a lot, okay? They feel like you actually are supposed to be a very positive influence in their life. But now the cups are filled, so that means they feel like maybe there's nothing they can do about this, okay? Feeling really remorseful, regretful, but losing hope. Losing hope as in whether that there is a chance for both of you to get back together. They may feel like they have made the wrong judgment, call the judgment and then first and several ones. For some of you, maybe there is uh, an outside interference, but it may not always mean that. It may also mean them feeling really conflicted deep down. They could be fighting with themselves. Um, or I would say beating themselves up over what had happened, okay? Cancel, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with one video on the screen right now. This is the video from my second vlog channel. If you guys are interested to check it out. It's just a vlog update of where I'm at. Uh, I live in Malaysia. It's pretty beautiful here. If you guys like, check it out. If not, it's fine too. Cancel, hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. Take care. Bye.